What's going on everybody? This is Riyad here with a new fighting game tutorial and in this one um, they're gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, in this tutorial we'll be making um, we'll be making the server and the client and um, basically connect to the server and stuff like that. So first um, since this is not working, let me just change. Um, let's delete this and let's say first if chicken, if chicken, else, okay. So draw set color, see um, red. Now, if we're not checking down this, let's say the color to line, and yeah, so draw text um, room width divided by two, and or no, let's say zero, one twenty eight and press C to check um, to check the what to check the connection to the master server and yep now we'll go to our step event and here and global dot is public equals false. That means uh, we can't check uh, for the server if it's already public, and we can do something like um, so here. Let's if the operation fails then set chicken equals false because you know so the player can check again for the server now so I have here one versus one server so let's start coding but first of all um, make sure to destroy the test server so if instance exists, whoops, if instance exists obj test server, then um, with obj test server, whoops, instance destroy. Okay, now let's start create the server. So network or wait on. Um, server equals network create server now for the type it's gonna be network socket TCP okay now the port is global dot port and the max client is global or wait so um, actually we shouldn't have global dot max client but since it's one versus one then we're gonna have two clients basically but anyway we also need uh, a player buffer so buffer create so the size it's 5l times 32 and let me just check for okay Wait. Okay. And the type, um, I think it's fixed. And the alignment is one. Well, what's the problem? Buffer player. Buffer. Okay. And what else? Yep. 
so client equals the smap create and socket equals ds list um, create so this is list of connected sockets list of uh, oh, this is a map to store um, uh, the sockets and the clients or the player um, players and their sockets so I think that's all for now now um, it's at destroy event and here we go into network destroy um, server and buffer delete um, player buffer what else um, ds list destroy sockets ds map destroy um, clients okay and let's add another event to make sure that um, we can't uh, keep this uh, object so in the game and event instance destroy okay that's all now let's go to the network and part so add the synchronous event network and oh, oops okay um, so let's say var event equals ds map find value so uh, async load and id so if event equals id oh wait what i'm doing i mean if server equals um event that means that uh, someone is trying to connect to the server or disconnect from the server else oops if um, event equals global global dot socket then this is our uh, local client okay else oh, wait okay so here uh, ser if server equals event that means uh, someone is trying to connect or disconnect from the server and if it's global.socket then this is the data that we get from our local client and we don't need to uh, you know so it's just in your here and else this is the data that we get from um, the other sockets which are the other clients so um, we're going to have a script here so scr connect and disconnect so uh, let's say for type equals network oh wait I mean ds map find value async load and the type okay we're going to have uh, socket oops socket and what else um i think that's all or no we need um to know the ip of the server or i mean the client so let's add another global in it and um yeah, so we have this global local IP. So 
Okay, so that's good. So, um, if type equals network type connect else um, if type does it work type disconnect okay so the type can be here um, whether connect or disconnect so in this case we're going to add a player and here remove a player so um, first of all uh, DS list add so sockets and socket so we have a list of this, uh, the connected socket so we're going to add this one that is trying to connect and add it to the list and also uh, let's create a player so uh, well, let's call it just pl equals instance create uh, just leave it empty here obj player or no this should be remote player and let's go and create this one remote player okay now for the position let's um wait so let's add um here global dot current players equal zero let's copy that so here um so if low dot current players is greater than one that means this is the second player to join so wait um let me just check for the positions here wait so 128 here except for the x okay so this is 5 2 okay and finally uh, we're going to add the socket and player to DS map so DS map add clients um, so the key is the socket the value is the player Okay, now, um, and here, so, first of all, let's destroy the DS map. So, DS map destroy client, or wait, so, let's search for the player that is, and so, if the clients disconnect, then we're going to destroy his player. And in order to find the player, um, we can find it using DS map. So var player equals DS map find value here on client and socket and with player instance destroy and let's say var index so we're going to uh, also uh, remove the sockets from the sockets list so index equals ds list find index socket oops sockets and socket and finally ds list oops let's remove or delete i can't remember delete i guess yep 
socket and index. So that's all for the connect and disconnect part. So uh, let's go to the server and here I'm going to disconnect. So okay. Now here um, we need to get the external, uh, I mean the local IP from our local client to know our um, machine it's IP. So let's go here and copy that. And we want to do global dot um, local IP equals IP. Very simple. And here we're going to um, here we need to receive the data that we get from the other clients. But let's go first to the client and let's start making the client. So first of all we need to connect to the server so we need a socket to connect so network create socket uh, network socket TCP and then network connect so socket the URL is the IP so global dot IP to connect and the port is global dot port to connect but first so this need to be connect as a variable connect to um, so wait so if connect equals zero or wait, if I not equal zero, that means the operations failed. Then um, let's connect to equals network connect to. Uh, so let's connect to another server that is our local server. So when we select a server from uh, the server's list, we don't know if it's a local server, so we need a local IP to connect or it's an external, uh, I mean, a public server that is not in our machine. So we need to use the external IP. So first of all, we're going to connect to the external IP. Now if the actions fail, that, uh, that means the server may be in our local machine. So we're trying, so we'll try to connect to it now else if connect to not equal zero oops yep then show message cannot connect to server please try again and let's restart the game. Okay. Um, what else? So we need a variable called players zero and um, sprites or no. So this variable needs to be um, sprite and sprite list equals ds list create. Okay. Um, yep. So first of all. 
um, let's add room here. Settings. So let's change the size and let's say so. This is the wait. Multi uh, battle. Okay. So let's put the client here. And yeah, that's all. Let's make it black and yep. Let's save the game and let's start sending the data from the server I mean from the client to the server now um, let's say SCR send info so first of all um, I forget to add a buffer here for the client so yeah let's say buffer equals buffer create oops And I can't remember the number again, so... Buffer fixed. Alignment is 1, and... Yep. So, in order to send the data, we need to seek the buffer first, so... Buffer seek um, buffer. So the type is buffer seek start. So we need to, oops, to send the data from the first index. So uh, let's say buffer right buffer buffer and sign it. Um, I think eight is fine. And here is the value, so this needs to be info, and let's make this as macro, so let's say info is zero, oops, okay, wait a little bit, zero, yes, um, so we're going to send buffer, right, buffer buffer string so here we're going to send the name of the player oops what's the oh. so that was the what was the name is wait so global dot player name global dot player name ok we need to send buffer right buffer buffer string the character too so global dot character um, make sure it's not wrong ok um, we need an ID for the server for the client so let's go to our client first uh, let's randomize this first and ID equals round random And let's put some random number here. Okay, so let's send the ID. So buffer right um buffer buffer. So this assign it 30. Wait, I think assign it 60 is fine, but no. Uh, it's better to be 32 and ID oops what did I 
Oh my god. Wait. Oh, what's that? Here, ID. Okay, finally, network. Oh, send packet. So we're going to send uh, this data here to um, the server. So network, send packet uh, using the socket. The buffer ID is this one, so buffer. And the size, um, so in order to know the size of any buffer, there is a function called buffer tell, uh, which returns the size of the buffer. So buffer tell buffer is the size of the buffer. And so send info, what else we need? Um, so go to our client. You know what? I think it's better to make this as arguments. So one, two. Now let's go to our client here and let's send the info. SCR send info. So global dot player name on uh, global dot character and ID okay um, so this script is for the server so I see our receive data so this is the, the server script so um say var socket equals ds list or this map find value uh, so this is async load so the key is um, you now since we, we are already in the game that um, it's better to not use socket as the key but use the ID so the ID here is um, is basically the ID of the socket that's all um, we need also to know the buffer so ds find value and this is the buffer and let's make another variable called command and no so this is buffer rate Oh, so buffer is buffer and type is buffer and sign it 8. So what are we going to do? What we are doing here is so this script needs to know which type of data that is uh, that the client sent. So as you can see here, um, the first data that the buffer is sending is this one buffer and sign it 8 info so the uh, wait in this case is info but we're going to use uh, other values here so the CMD here it's going to be one of the many possible uh, values that that uh, the client is sending so if CMD equals buffer Oh, what I'm doing. So if CMD equals info, that means uh, someone has uh, sent us the uh, info. So what we are going to do is if, um, we're going to assign um, the info that we get from the clients to his, to, to, to this, wait, oh my god, I can't speak. So we're going to assign the info that we get from the clients to his player. In order to do that, let's do something like var player equals instance no equals ds map find value. So this is clients and 
the key here is the socket so with player um, sorry mod player let's add some create event here uh, so name equals empty string character equals empty string what else um, ID equals zero so what we're going to do here is assign those three variables to the player so with player um, name equals ds oh wait buffer read um, buffer as always type is buffer string okay now the next data that we sent was the character so character equals buffer read string plus one is the id which was an assigned 32 buffer u32 and yup and um what else we're gonna do well first let's see if uh, everything is working fine but uh, oh yeah so make sure that make sure that the server is persistent okay so this is very very important and here so if global dot is public then if the server is public then we need to uh, send the data to the master server which is um, MySQL database so just leave it uh, as it is now but um, I need to think of a way to do that but so let's go to our lobby manager here and draw the create menu okay so here well, let's remove that and okay so for quick testing um, let's just do something like um, press uh, H to host server press G to join so let's go to our step here step event and here okay oh wait 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 so remember when I did this I totally meant it to be here okay that was weird and so here um, okay so oh, no so let's copy that let's paste it here okay okay so F keyboard check press um, host then instance create uh, the one versus one server okay and we also want to connect to it so um, let's say connect oh, wait so um, global dot local IP to connect equals get string and 
global.ip to connect equals get string and global dot port to connect equals get integer Okay, and then room go to um, multiplayer battle. Okay, now the same thing here, except you wanna change this to G and instance. Let's remove, oh, so we don't need to create server. So, first, let's um, wait in order. Um, so Whenever a player join, then we need to um, wait. What was the name of the okay current players? And for testing purpose, let's do something like um draw text x y um, name to see if uh, if we really received data from the server or not y minus 60 y minus 30 string ID and character. Oops, character. Okay, so but you know I think we will have an error. I don't know why, but if we don't get an error that will be I don't know how to express it. Oh wait. Whoa, forty minutes. Okay, so come on. Okay, multiplayer. Let's change the name to something like this. Uh, create. Well, let's host. Just local IP. Let's leave it like that. And um, let's put some. Oh no, it's port. Okay. Oops. What was the problem here? If event. Oh yeah. Yep. So here, um, I told you that global.socket is our local client socket. So global.socket equals socket. Okay. So this just to know um, that this is our local client. So come on, come on. Multiplayer. Let's change the name and press H. Okay. Port. Hmm. Nope. We didn't get. We didn't receive the data. Oh, yeah. Of course, we didn't receive it because. I forget to call the script. That was extremely stupid. Yeah, sometimes I, I really do some strange thing. Okay, so hopefully this time it will work. Create host yup 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 hmm where's the problem this time oh my god I'm doing a lot of errors here so this needs to be buffer 
without ER okay I told you that it's gonna be weird if we didn't get any error come on come on come on multiplayer create let's host oh let me copy that okay IP okay and the port yep so as you can see here guys um this is the ID of the client this is the client uh, character and this is the name now this time let's try to oh wait wait a little bit so did I uh-huh oh so mm, okay it's not a problem so the first player should be in the left side but anyway so this time let me just um, change the player name and multiplayer create oh wait let me just change the player name to something like this and let's say host and this time I will leave IP to uh, an empty string then the client will be like um, okay so we'll find that this um, variable is empty okay and he'll try to connect to an empty string which doesn't make any sense so this variable uh, will be some basically this condition will be true then the client will connect to our local um, IP okay so yep and yep exactly so as you can see here we have uh, the player name as I uh, choose but in order to make this uh, a little bit um, I don't know I can explain it but let's add some um, code here SCR choose or select character so let's say f character if character equals Naruto then um, when I need to copy the script from here okay let's call it here except for you want to change global wait global dot um, enemy to character basically character okay replace all thank you now go to our remote player where is it remote player and let's call the script here scr um select character and it's better to set this as default value so let's say naruto and um sprite index equals stance sprite okay stance sprite So let's see if it works now. And this time I will change the character to see if it's working. Multiplayer, let's change the name just for fun. Let's make server. Oh, I didn't change the character oops what oh well wait yeah so oh, wish this 
Dr. Sneiji, and the last one is Kakashi. Okay. Okay, well, let me just change the character. God, I always forget to do something, and this time I forget to do that. So draw self, and let's go and fix the position here. So say plus thirty-two, plus sixty-four. As you can see here guys we didn't get the correct character and that's because um, the information um, takes um, where is that remote player takes a little time to um, to reach the player so it's better to call the script here in the step event, so I see our uh, select character and yeah, for testing now, let's set se uh, sprite, let's set the sprite to stance sprite in the step event here. So, this is just for testing, we'll remove it later. So, This time, let's host. Yep, 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 yeah. So, as I told you guys, um, this time we get the correct character, but I, I need to do something else. So, let's make an application here and let's see if the if it's really working to, uh, to be able to join server. So, let's make Application and come on. Uh, I really hate to install the application and to test it, but we need to. So I'm going to quickly install next install. Okay, so this one will be the server and this one is the client. So it's a multiplier. Um, let's change the character. So this one is Niji. And now keep in mind that the client can't see anything right now because we didn't. Um, we didn't send the data to the client, okay? But so we will see the result in this window, that is the server. So let's um, create a server here, so host, 
help and here we're going to choose another character and with another name of course and then let's press G this time so I'm going to select the local IP VIP and the port so as you can see here guys uh, you can see that another client uh, has connected to the game and I don't know why it's um, wait oh no wait script networking mm -hmm. oh yeah that was actually stupid because this needs to be greater or equals but anyway so I don't know if I can yes I can so let's run the client here so um this one is the client so this is Naruto with some capital letters now we will join the server from here okay so this is another character okay let's create the server here okay and let's join here yep so as you can see here guys we have two players that are in the same room well right now we can't see anything in the client side and that's because we didn't um, send uh, information to it and we'll do that in the next tutorial and so please guys don't forget to like subscribe or just do anything beautiful just leave a maybe positive comment yes positive comment and yeah so i'll see you in the next tutorial and by the way you can see all um, the informations of um, so you can see all the codes and objects information in the, in the description and you can also download the link of this um, gmz and yeah so i'll see you in the next video bye bye